So I want to show what creating a new password is like on my Twitter X account uh, that I've had for 14 years now. So I'm doing it on my phone to, doc to document how what the process is like. So I'm at the part, I had an email sent to me with the, co with the code and I put in that code and once inputting the code, it takes me to this screen, create a new password. Okay, now this is my seventh time doing this and I'm gonna um, post the screenshot of the email uh, sent by X where they send me a code. And after putting in the code, uh, and I get this screen, um, it shows next to the email that it was, it's the seventh email sent to me uh, by X. So I'm gonna create a new password. And the reason why they're harassing me like this is because they can actually see my password. And my password um, is offensive, but you're not supposed to know that. <laughs> because it's my password and only I'm supposed to see my password. So they don't like my password and they're obstructing me because they're in they're, uh implicitly saying, we don't like your password. And because we don't like your password, we're going to obstruct you from your Twitter. Well, here's the thing about that. You're not supposed to see my password. So it's just like, you know, um, even if I were racist, if I'm only racist in my room, if I say offensive things in my room, no one's supposed to hear that. And you can't, the, their argument is we can, we can spy on you. And if we hear offensive things coming from you, you're at fault because you're a racist. No, you're at fault because you're not even supposed to be in my room. I'm not a racist and I have a zillion proof uh, why I'm not a racist. First of all, I don't need to prove myself to anyone. The point of the matter is my devices are compromised. I'm being terrorized and I shouldn't have to defend myself on uh, being a racist because at this point I probably am a racist. I certainly am a little traumatized by uh, black people and black supremacists and uh, they've stolen from me. They've terrorized me for years and uh, they've, I've lost my job. They're trying really hard to make me homeless. And uh, you know, that's a little traumatizing uh, to, to have to go through, especially coming from my background. So, um, but their argument is you're a racist. You don't want to date a black guy and you're a racist. You don't want to be his maid. You don't want to cook and clean for him and you don't wanna do what we tell you to do, and you don't wanna act like us, you don't wanna dress like us, you don't wanna be part of our crew, you're a racist. That's how they think. They don't see, well, I have a right not to like you, I have a right to defend myself, and I have a right to say, hey, get the fuck out of my life. That doesn't make me racist, okay? And just to name a few reasons why I'm not a racist, um, I chose, my roommate, who's from Egypt, uh, Egypt is in Africa. I've also had other black roommates who I chose. Uh, I'm the name, I'm the leaseholder. I can choose whoever I want to live in this apartment, just like I can choose. I chose whoever I wanted to live in my old apartment, and uh, I chose uh, my my roommate now is African, and. My roommates, uh, one roommate in the in my other apartment was black, so that reason right there. Um, I've also volunteered for paws for two women, older women, who uh, couldn't walk their dogs, uh, and that I did that for two and a half years. And I came all the way from Queens to go to the Bronx Projects to walk their dogs, and I did that for two years. So there's a reason right there. I've shown that um, I've donated to the bogus BLM. I've shown I even read a book during that time that bored me stiff. I've also lived in an uh, all group, uh, in an all girls group home when I was awarded the court, court with black and brown. And I was the only Asian. Um, 
I have, uh, there's a black female that was following me on my Twitter account that I can't get, log into. She's from the group home. Her name is Jaminia. Um, I've had black friends. Um, I've worked with black colleagues who can vouch. And these people can all vouch. Erica's not a racist. Okay, so what that is, is they're pivoting, they're turning the, their criminal actions. Once again, um, what they're very good at is disinformation and pointing fingers and self-victimization and inversing reality so that the reality gets warped. The reality of the situation is that I'm the victim and I'm only defending myself, but they're turning it around and saying, you're the racist. and you're the criminal and we have every right to be in your room and call you out as a racist. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. But that's how their logic works. It's, it really does seem like they're totally incapable of like two plus two equals four logic. It's, it's just really mind boggling. And when you understand that part, like, Hey, we're dealing with kind of very, uh, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's immaturity. I don't know if it's stupidity. It's a little bit of everything, I guess. And completely delusional people. Um, you know, there's, you can, I can say until blue in the face that these people are really stupid. They're not bright. Uh, they're delusional. But, you know, we know that. Anybody with common sense knows that. And it's not really worth mentioning anymore. It's just, it took a little while for me to understand just how um, delusional. They are because it's very unsettling. It's, uh, you know, and, and in the meantime, I'm anchored in reality and I'm just merely trying to get my life back and I want these people out of my life. And I don't think that's asking for much. And I don't think it's asking for much to uh, want to keep my money and not to have to pay so-called quote unquote reparations. And, uh, you know, to I'm 44 years old and I've never had an easy life. No one's ever given me anything. I've never stolen. Uh, it's cer certainly not to the degree of money. Uh, you know, uh, I've never stolen money. Uh, certainly not billions like these people have. And they're still fucking losers. That's what's amazing. For all the money that they have stolen, how is it that they're still dumb? You know, it's like go to college with that money. Do something for yourself. All they are is criminals. So back to this, I'm creating a new password. I have no money, but I'm sharp as fuck. And that's how I was able to figure this stuff. That's why we're in this situation now. One me against all them. They're the ones with money. They're the criminal organization. They have tons of, uh, you know, co-conspirators. I'm, by, I'm, I'm on my own. I've never even... As far as I know, I've never been scammed before. I figured all this out by myself. So now we're at this screen, and it's this screen here. You can never get past the screen. So I'm just going to show, here we go, next. And it just takes you back to the screen. So this is this is new. I've never seen this before for Twitter. I don't believe this is legitimate.
Now I'm to this screen. This is a new screen. All this is harassment, real-time harassment. None of this is uh, legitimate. And this is also something I never had to do before. Okay, so now it's saying, use your security key. Now, when I tried to use my security key over a year ago, when I first got these two security keys, I couldn't activate neither one on my phone, and I have screenshots showing that. So it's saying, use my security key and bring it to the top of this phone. And that's what I'm doing, but nothing's happening. Okay. So now it's saying use a code generator app. It wants me to use a separate app that generates a code to log into my Twitter. Anything that involves a, a separate app to log into an account is suspect. And I'm not going to do that. First of all, this phone can't, this phone doesn't have enough room for an app. That's why there's no apps on it. Because the storage is inflated. So you see how they obstruct? So I just tried to log into my um, Twitter account and I got three bogus, bogus, uh, mess three bogus options that didn't show on my iMac but showed on my iPhone. And they were use your security key, which I tried to use both security keys and by bringing them to the uh, camera on the iPhone, and neither worked. And that was the case when I first got these security keys. So I'm going to do this again.
So now it's asking me to confirm my user ID, which I just did to get to this part. And the other thing, um, for as long as I've used Twitter, which which is now X, it's asking me for my uh, phone number. That's private information. No social media should be asking you for your phone number. And there's no option to um, bypass that. You have to give them your phone number. So now I'm at this screen again. And this will be my eighth email from X. And now I'm putting in the code. So now I'm back to the part where it's asking me to create a new password. Okay, so here's the screen again. It's asking me to create a new password. So now I'm back at this screen. And on the iMac, this is the screen that I can't get past. But on the iPhone, I can get past the screen, but then another screen pops up with three more similar questions, except it's another process of signing into my um, account. So watch what happens. Okay, so now it's saying, iPhone, iPad, how would you like to sign into Twitter? Use pass key from a device with camera. Okay. I'm using a camera on my iMac. Nothing's happening. I'm using the IMAX camera. It says scan this QR code with the device running iOS. And now it just went to another screen. Use a generator code, use a generator app, use a security key, use a backup code. I've never created a backup code. And when I try to use a security key, which is what I'm going to show right now, I just pressed, you see what happened? I just pressed security key. Next. And it took me to this screen. And even though I just pressed security key, it has the first one, iPhone, iPad, or Android device. Use a pass key from a device with a camera, which is what I just tried to do, and nothing happened. So now I'm going to press security key. Use a security key. Okay, so I have this kind of a key 
and I'm putting it in front of the camera and nothing's happening. And that was always the case when I, ever since I got this security key for the phone. When I tried to activate the security key on the phone, it never worked. Okay, so documentation that all this is bogus and that I'm deliberately being harassed. And again, um, I don't believe anyone else is going through this to sign into Twitter to create a new password when they're creating a new password. What's now X? I keep saying Twitter, but it's X. I don't believe anyone else is going through this process when they create a new password. And if that's the case, this is a lawsuit. I shouldn't be the only one. I created a new password. And yet, after I create a new password, I keep getting this kind of a screen. And no matter what I choose, none of them work. The QVC code, the, my security keys, none of them work. And as far as I know, creating a new password should be it. You shouldn't have to be going through all this. This is bogus. This is harassment. And that's a lawsuit.